With Worm, we wanted to make an entire feature film told from the perspective of a snore cam, which is a device worn by an actor that holds the camera about two feet in front of the actor's face and the camera is facing the actor. I envisioned planning the film almost like live theater, having actors stationed at different locations and the lead actor running the gauntlet of the film as it was mapped out. And at no point would we cut and at no point would the camera stop rolling and at no point would the snore cam be removed. So we had to have a camera that would stand up to the elements, that would be small enough to fit through doorways, that could be put in underwater housing so it could go off of a bridge, and it had to stay exposed and focused on our lead character. That's the way we wanted to tell this story. It's the story of a man on the run, and we wanted to be tethered to him the entire time. Literally, the only camera that would work in this scenario to tell this story in this way was the GoPro. During pre-production, GoPro supplied us with the ProTune upgrade, which meant that our film would now look more like a film. It would be at 24 frames per second. The higher bit rate in the footage and less compression overall would mean that Worm wouldn't just look like video anymore, it would look like a movie. And handing that footage over to our colorist here in Los Angeles, after we were back from Oklahoma, uh, our colorist was ecstatic at how the footage looked, at the latitude it had, at what we could do to the footage to enrich it, to stylize it. We could do so much more with the GoPro footage now that we had the, the ProTune upgrade. And this camera was a workhorse. It shot all of our tests. It shot rehearsals for us. It held up in the 107 degree temperature in Guthrie, Oklahoma. It went underwater off that bridge 15, 20 times. It was in the back of a police car where the temperature rose beyond 107 with the windows up and the doors closed. The stamina that this camera had was only matched by the stamina of my cast and crew over those weeks. If it wasn't for the innovation from a company like GoPro, filmmakers like me couldn't innovate in their realm. I and mean, we couldn't have made this movie, quite honestly, could not have made this movie if it hadn't have been for the GoPro. This was the only camera that enabled us, that equipped us to tell the story of Worm the way we envisioned telling it. And I think audiences will be amazed at what the first feature shot entirely using a GoPro looks and feels like. I think it's unexpected. I think it's something outside of the GoPro wheelhouse and yet so much akin to the spirit and tone of everything else they produce. And I couldn't be more proud of the film. I hope you'll check us out at SIF this year.